Kilobi mtangazaji wa ishara akiwa ni Gideon Bogo. Mchakato wa kurejesha nchini pesa za wizi zilizohifadhiwa katika nchi za kigeni umeanza huku mataifa ya Kenya na Uswizi yakitia saini mkataba kwenye harakati za kukabiliana na ufisadi nchini kwenye hotuba ya pamoja hii leo katika ikulu ya Nairobi Rais Uhuru Kenyatta na Rais Uswizi Alain Besat walisema mipangilio ya kurejesha fedha hizo ipo tayari mwanabari wetu uh, Jeff Kirui ana maelezo zaidi Taifa la Uswizi limetajwa kwa moja wepo ya nchi zinazotumiwa kuhifadhi mabilioni ya pesa za wizi na ufisadi. Ziara ya siku mbili humu nchini ya rais wa taifa hilo Allen Bassett ikifungua ukurasa wa kupiga darubini ya kaunti za bengi zinazohifadhi pesa za Kenya nchini humo na zile zitakazohusishwa na ufisadi na uporaji fedha za umma zinamulikwa. We have just agreed upon a framework for the return of assets from corruption and crime in Kenya. The framework outlines our commitment and action plan for recovering the proceeds of crime and corruption and it will ensure that illegally acquired wealth held outside our country is repatriated to benefit the Kenyan people. This framework will allow Switzerland to return financial assets that have been blocked, uh, from exa uh, for example from the anglo leasing uh, uh, case and uh, to return financial assets to Kenya once the judicial proceedings come to an end here. Dinamizi la ufisadi limekuwa likiandama serikali ya Rais Uhuru Kenyatta. Sakata kuu ikiwemo wizi wa takriban shilingi bilioni moja katika huduma za vijana NYS. Kisha ikaja sakata shilingi bilioni tano katika wizara ya afya na unyo unyo ukafuata awamu ya pili ya sakata ya takriban shilingi bilioni tisa katika idara ya huduma za vijana ya NYS sakata ambazo zinatishia kutia do uongozi wa rais Uhuru Kenyatta We have made it very clear that corruption cannot and will not be tolerated and the reasons could not be clearer corruption directly threatens Kenya's future as it denies our children the education they deserve it denies Kenyans the public goods that their hard work has earned them and it also degrades the quality of our government as well as erodes investor confidence. Tayari governor Busia Sospita Ujamonga mekesha katika korokoro za polisi na kufikishwa mahakamani kwa madai ya kufuja shilingi milioni nane za county. Hata hivyo baraza la magavana limekuwa jepesi kumondolea lawama mmoja wao wakitaja tuma dhidi ya Ujamonga kama njama za kisiasa. Governors are heads of government and the war on corruption cannot be used to embarrass them. The council starts with the governor of Busia. Governor Ojamong pamoja na maafisa wengine watatu kutoka kaunti ya Busia wameachiliwa kwa dhamana ya shilingi milioni moja kila mmoja. Kesi hiyo ikitarajiwa kuanza mwezi ujao. Licha ya juhudi za Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kupiga vita jinamizi la ufisadi humu nchini, wa Kenya wanatarajia zaidi ikizingatiwa kuwa kuna yeyote wa ngazi ya juu ambaye amehukumiwa kifungo